yo what's up everybody welcome back to the cps reports and today i'm doing my recap on one championships one friday night fights 34 rod tang versus super Lake. let's go so i took the week to digest the fight i mean it was one of the most anticipated muay thai uh, fights of over, as they were saying over 50 years because it's one of the biggest or two of the biggest uh, muay thai athletes in the organization in my opinion um and I needed to come time to reflect and watch it a few times to give my, my proper analysis. Uh, I'm a fan of both, both athletes, both, both of them caught my eye and put my, my attention to the one championship as I said in the last fight. I have to, in the last video, I have to re re reiterate that um, I know I said in the previous video that it was a title fight and I know, and that was because I, I didn't realize that Superleg missed weight by five pounds, which is roughly about two kilograms. Um, which then made him not uh, eligible to win the title or the or the fight purse. So they fought at the catch weight at 140 at 140 pounds. And the first thing I noticed in the fight was that uh, Superleg looked much bigger than Rod Tang. Um, he looked taller, fuller, uh, and a bit more. He had a bit more power, a power advantage. Um, that being said, it didn't look like Rod Tang was ever discouraged. Um, he landed quite a bit of nasty elbows, upward elbows, elbows to the face from coming from the left. Um, and he utilized that more than getting in with straight jabs, he utilized the elbows to get in. Took a lot of leg kicks, a lot of it he checked as well. Uh, sounded worse than what it, what it, what it looked like. Um, the one thing I think that went into Superleg's advantage was whenever they would tie up to the clinch, you would see that Superleg pretty much dominated that, that area of the fight. And I think that tipped a bit more to his advantage. Uh, again, I think I don't make any excuses for Rao Tang, but I think it's got a lot to do with, with the weight size. Had that be a title fight, I think Rao Tang would have, the results, results said the same, Rao Tang would have lost the fight. However, there's only three rounds. And I think uh, going into the into the second, into the third round, you could see Rao Tang starting to pull ahead, get a bit more in the gas tank. And I think also if it had to go five rounds, the fight might have looked a little bit different. Um, Regardless of the result, it was a spectacle as both fighters promised to make it to be. Um, hey, where, where do we go from here? I think I think they're going to have to run it back again at the right weight class. Uh, at, at the, at the, that's fair for both fighters and hopefully if they both make weight, they can then make it a title shot. Uh, make it a five round fight. Um, yeah, it's again... I feel for Rao Tang, man, because it's, I, I don't think the fight was entirely unanimous, even though the results were unanimous decision. I don't think it was entirely unanimous. I would say round one was pretty, pretty, pretty straight, pretty, pretty difficult to split down the middle. Pretty like, yeah, because it was very close. Um, again, Rao Tang, uh, Super Lex aggression uh, matched with Rao Tang's um, ability to, to have that your ability and take that shot and then go back in and give a shot because he landed some good leg kicks, he landed some fantastic hooks to the body. And again, like the, the, most, the most damaging shot of the fight, I would say is the upward elbow that he landed, which pretty much cut Super Lick and busted him open, wide open for them from early in the fight, round one, which then would make it difficult for him to, for Super Lick to see. But I mean, that also did not discourage him. He went in and put on a clinic in the second round. And I think he might have lost the third round, but this is what it is. Um, again, fantastic fight for the organization, fantastic fight for the world to see if you like, if you like the combat sports, especially Muay Thai. Um, and yeah, and I think, I hope that they would be able to run it back. I mean, they're both really young in their, in their careers. They're both only, one is 26, the other one is 27, I think being 26, so Super League being 27. So they haven't even hit their prime yet. So I have no doubt that these guys are going to see each other again in the future. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for, for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Click the notification bell if you want to see more combat sports breakdowns. I'll be at you guys again next time, so take care.